Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Vicki Brown here with my weekly roundup of the national and local real estate news coming to you from South Metro Atlanta area. If you want a detailed discussion of your local market conditions, reach out to me. My contact info is in the description box below. So let's jump right into it. Are you spotting a trend here? Because on a national level, I'm spotting a trend. If you look at your screen, the blue line is the headline inflation, which dropped from 4.3 to 3.8% in May and almost halved since the middle of 2022. The red line is the core inflation, excluding food and fuel. It has been much more stubborn, I would agree, but it's clearly, clearly heading downward. Despite these obvious positive trends, though, the market expects that the Fed are about to raise short-term rates by another 25 BPS on July 26. Let's see what's happening with pending sales, because pending sales are signed contracts that are about to be closed, and they give us a very good idea on what the current demand for houses is. Pending home sales fell 2.7% month over month in May. That's the third straight month of decreases. As the National Association of Realtors chief economist wrote, despite the sluggish pending contract signings, the housing market is resilient with approximately three offers for every listing nationwide. The lack of housing inventory continues to prevent housing demand from being fully realized. On the lack of inventory thing, the inventory of homes for sale came roaring back in 2022 but that recovery has stalled with new listings in early 2023 running 20 to 25% below last year. There were approximately 614,000 units of active inventory in June of 2023, which is up 7% year over year and is just half of what it was in June 2019, pre-COVID, at 1.2 million units. And let me tell you, the inventory shortage in many individual cities is far worse than that, as you're about to see what's happening in my local market. So I'm going to focus on Newton, Sinoy, Peachtree City, and Fayetteville today, and I am going to talk about the month-to-month -month stats, which will be helpful for those of you who are actively shopping for your home right now. If you want to learn more about how to accurately read the month-to-month -month and the year-over-year -year stats and how the numbers can be skewed or misinterpreted, make sure to watch that video on your screen. But for now, I'm going to jump to my computer so that we can go check out the local market stats. Okay, let's jump over here. I'm in front of my computer. So we're looking at Newton, Georgia market trends. So as you can see, we have less than two months of inventory and inventory in Newton is climbing kind of significantly right now at 10 and a half, over 10 and a half percent compared to last month. So that's good news for buyers who are looking to purchase in Newton because you will have more options. Another good news for buyers is the list to sell price ratio sitting at 98.5%, which means sellers are willing to accept less than asking price or the homes that are available for sale, which means room for negotiation for you buyers. Homes are spending 12 days on the market, which is up about 33.5% from last month, and the median sale price is at $395,000, which is about 5.5% month-over-month growth in median sales price. So, we are seeing this median sales price growth because there is still a very limited amount of inventory. And you have to understand the local market to understand the intricacies of those numbers because there are quite a few older homes in Union, Georgia. And there are quite a few, I would like to say, investor specials in Union, Georgia that are sitting on the market for longer and are accepting less than asking price that might be skewing the numbers on a month-to-month -month basis. But keep in mind, if you're still seeing the median sales price going up in the inventory below six months, that is still pretty competitive market in Newton. So it really kind of depends. Get yourself a good realtor if you're shopping in Newton so that you have a better understanding of the intricacies of the local market. Moving on to Sonoy, Georgia. Now, if you've watched my other market videos, you're going to know that Tenoy, Georgia is heavy new construction market. So, obviously, you're going to have a bit more inventory on 
numbers when you're looking at it because new homes are sitting on the market longer because they get listed before they even get built okay so they're counting as inventory as soon as they are open for pre-sales basically so sinoi has almost three percent of inventory but it's trending down about five and a half percent less than last month which reflects into the list to sold price ratio which is at 99.4 percent and that is trending up which means sellers are almost getting close to asking price and very little room for negotiation in the median days a home spent on the market in Sonoy is nine which is significantly down from last month it was in the double digits last month so 62 and a half percent decrease or homes are selling 60 62 percent faster this month than the previous month and the median sale price reflects that five hundred and fifty five thousand dollars almost three percent increase month over month moving on to fair county looking at beautiful peachtree city so if you look at the peachtree city stats you are going to see that there's literally no inventory in peachtree city people i mean we don't even have a month supply of inventory there so the available homes are very limited and that's going and trending down from last month almost 11 percent but it has been consistently trending down in Peachtree City sellers are getting over asking price in Peachtree City officially and homes are flying off the shelves three days on the market and they're going under contract and the median sales price is shooting up 12 percent more than last month at six hundred and twenty-five thousand one hundred and forty dollars so if you're a buyer in peachtree city and you're feeling discouraged and you're not able to find anything in peachtree city i have some solutions for your frustrations and i can show you a way where you can eliminate your current buyer competition and actually look at some inventory that other buyers don't have their eyes on so if you're interested to learn more about this shoot me an email or drop me a comment down below and i'll be more than happy to connect with you and explain to you how that works all right moving to fayetteville so fayetteville georgia has a little bit more inventory two a little bit over two months of supply of homes or inventory available for sale which is an increase from last month almost 13 and a half percent sellers are getting very close to asking price little room for negotiation but they will be firm on their asking price for the most part and homes are spending about 10 days on the market which is significantly low than last month and it's actually trending lower and lower in Fayetteville too um we used to we used to have a little bit more time when shopping in Fayetteville the months of April and I want to say March and April but now during the prime season houses are going under contract pretty quickly in Fayetteville as well median sold price is sitting at $492,500 which is almost 26 percent increase from last month okay so buyers beware it's going to be competitive everywhere in those markets if you are looking to purchase and sellers you are in a great position to capitalize on that market so that was my weekly roundup of the national local real estate market i hope this was a helpful video for those of you who are looking to buy or sell in the near future and i will see you on the next one